Here's my process for making my typical lucid chart diagrams to show a bunch of children and do name matches. I grab a shape and drag it over. And then I type a name in the box. Then I grab the red circle and drag it up to a parent box. Then I put in the parents' names. And sometimes I expand this to be larger because maybe you would want to have the parent box be bigger because it represents two people. To expand it, you click on the blue. And now I want to add another child, so I drag another shape. And I put it at the same generation level because they're siblings. Brother. Then I drag the line up to the same node that the parent, that, that Nicole's line goes to. So when you line up the generations like this and you connect each child's box to the same node on the parents, then when you move the parents around, the, box, the lines stay even and symmetrical for you. So let's say I want to add a sister. I can drag another shape over here, put it in the same generation level, match it up, and then type the name. You can also press Control Enter or Command Enter to add a line break and type Centimorgan information and relationship to the tester. Then drag the line up with the red dot and attach it to the same node on the parent box as the other siblings. Then as you move the parent box around or move generations over to the side, as long as you keep these generation boxes the same, then the lines should match up nicely. If the brother box gets moved down a little bit and it's off, it's not lined up with these, the line gets messed up. So you can see that it's at the right generation level if all the lines match up. See that dotted line going from brother to Nicole? That's matching up nicely. All right, so you can put it back closer.